Well, as of January 1st, Mercer County's Transfer Fire Department was no longer responsible for Pima Tuning Township. The contract to provide service had expired and no new agreement had been reached. Tonight, neighbors in Pima Tuning Township showed up for a meeting. They weren't happy. They went home unhappy. But we just learned within the last hour that behind a closed door meeting, their fire service has been restored. First News reporter Rod Cowan is live with what happened. Yeah, the people who showed up tonight were not happy with what has happened since the first of the year. They wanted their local fire and EMS service back. It's standing room only at a township meeting where the discussion quickly turned to the lack of fire protection for the residents. It's coming down to $7,000. Is, is, that, is yep. that what I'm to understand? In what we proposed in that last meeting, in, in yes, the it last came proposal. down to $7,000. $7,000. $7, so, so someone's life isn't worth $7,000 at this point. About 60 people packed the small township meeting room, and most wanted the same thing, to be sure they would be protected by the local department in case of fire or an emergency. Residents of Pymatuming Township have been without a fire department or EMS service since midnight December 31st because the Pymatuming Township supervisors and the transfer fire department failed to reach an agreement on a new contract for 2019, and residents are caught in the middle. If you want to maintain my support, and if you want, you know, to, to do right by the community, we need to figure this out. Right now, it's up to the township supervisors to provide that for them. They have to figure out who they're bringing in to cover the area. They have to take it from there. As of right now, it's not coming from the transfer volunteer fire department. It's completely out of your hands. It's completely out of our hands right now. Now, following the meeting, the board met and came to an agreement with the volunteer fire department, and I can tell you that the service is back running right now. Live in the studio, Rod Cowan, 27 First News at 10.